everyone and welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going through a really quick method that you can use in Lightroom to correct skin tones. Now, I actually happen to think that this is one of the quickest methods out there that you can use to make a really big impact with skin tones. And I always love to do this in the raw processing phase of the retouching process because you do have a lot more detail to work with. So this particular method takes very little time and very little skill. And this tutorial today is actually gonna be really short, but hopefully you guys enjoy the tutorial overall and let's Let's get straight into it. So now that we're in Lightroom, I'm going to show you one main way and one very quick way that you can correct skin tones in this program. And the one thing that I really do love about Lightroom is that it's really quick and easy to use a lot of the time. And there are really simple procedures to correcting skin tones and doing similar things in this program. So that's one reason that I really love Lightroom and I think it's a really helpful tool to be using in conjunction with Photoshop. Now, obviously to do this in the raw processing stage through Lightroom is going to be best. I feel you can always fine tune skin tones a little bit later on through Photoshop But I really do like starting off with a bit of a base and one really easy and quick way to correct skin tones and do that in Lightroom Is to actually just scroll down here to the mixer tab So the color mixer tab is full of a bunch of colors here where you can go in and adjust each and every one of them in the image so for example if I click on the magenta I can remove the saturation from the magenta and you'll see that there's some gemstones just around the model's eye. And if I move that down, you'll see that the saturation is removed. So mainly for skin tones, we're actually going to be working with the orange color. Now this is really helpful because you will find that the majority of the skin tone colors will be in the oranges. However, you can also use the red and the yellows as well to help adjust that if you need to. So the one main thing that I would do after going into the oranges is actually go down to the saturation tab. And then I would actually just move that down a little bit. And you'll see that that removes that overly saturated effect or overly warm effect of the skin tone. And you can even adjust the hue. So if you want to lean a little bit more to the reddish side, you can do that. Or if it's needing a little bit more green or a bit more yellow in the skin tone, you can move it that way instead. But it's really all dependent on your model's skin tone and how you're correcting it and how it looks in real life too. So I'm just moving it over slightly towards the reds there and you can adjust the saturation as you see fit. I usually go a little bit more uh, desaturated with the skin tones because adding things like presets or even in Photoshop and, and color grading and things like that can really adjust how the skin tone looks. And I tend to find it does that less so if you do remove a bit more of the saturation from the skin tone in the first place. So that is literally what I would do to adjust the skin tone in Lightroom and to correct them in under a couple of minutes. And I wanna show you a quick before and after now of how that's made a difference. This is the before and that is the after. Before and then after. So as I mentioned, you can adjust the saturation, you can adjust the luminance if you want the skin tone to be a bit brighter or a little bit more on the darker side. But as I said, that's going to depend on the model that you have in your photograph. But another quick before and after to show you what that's done exactly. So before and then after. Before, after. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and hopefully you've learned something new from it. Thank you so much for watching this video today. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already as well, make sure that you do because I'll be posting a lot more videos in future. Let me know down in the comment section below if there's any tutorial requests that you'd like to make or anything in particular that you want to learn in Photoshop or Lightroom. And I'd love to add them to my list. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.